What's up guys and welcome back to another Revit Tools video. Summer might be coming to an end, but maybe you need to slim down a little bit still. In this video we'll be covering the trim tool. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to help you trim down anything but Revit walls, beams, things like that. But anyways, in this video, the trim tool. It's pretty simple. It's up here in the modify tab. It's trim slash extend to corner. It, it's very simple and I'll be honest it's it is one of my if not the favorite tool of mine in Revit it, again it's very simple it's got one task it is to trim it's to create corners it does something simple let's get right into it I've got some walls laid out we've got some curtain walls some basic detail lines model lines here and some beams and what we'll do is we'll come over to the walls here I'll zoom in here and I'll first click the trim tool and I, I am prompted to choose the first line, beam, or wall that I'd like to use to trim. And as I highlight over these walls, you can see that they're highlighting. And I have the option to select any one I'd want. I'm going to choose that one first. And now I'm prompted down here, and you can see down at the bottom, select the second line or wall to trim or extend. Or you can click on the... And now what you do here is in parentheses it says, click on the part you want to keep. Now this is very important and really you just need to learn this one time because once you get this down you'll know it moving forward. So let's say that I want to keep this top side of this wall. Well then I, I'll simply click that but while I can do that I'll click it there and you can see how it trims both of the walls and creates my corner. I'm going to undo that but again if I select that wall first I can choose which side of this wall I want to keep. Now let's say I want to choose the bottom side of the wall and I want to keep that okay you can see that that side is kept now I'm gonna put it this way and it, I think it, this makes a little more sense so let's say you want to create a corner with this left side of the horizontal wall and the top side of this vertical wall then I on both sides of this wall I'm gonna click the sides I want to keep and as you can see down here at the bottom whether it's the first or second selection I in parentheses says click on the part you want to keep so if you keep in mind throughout this entire process of using the trim tool that you're choosing what you want to keep then it's very simple if I want to keep these two sides there I'm gonna keep that's what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get both of those sides trimmed together if I want these two boom it's very simple like that so the, the that's the very basic parts of the trim tool as I create corners I trim two things together it starts to make sense now let's see what happens whenever we end up trimming walls that aren't touching they're, they're just floating about and we want to we want to make a corner between this wall and that corner well I want to keep this wall obviously and I want to keep this wall so let's see what happens if I click that wall click that wall you can see that they're trimmed together and I create that corner condition that's great now I I only have the option of joining a corner here because it, there's no other way for these walls to connect together in any way the same the same can work with these these walls here I can join those together same with these walls if I if I want to keep this wall and I want to trim it to this wall here Depending on which side of this wall that I choose, you can see the high, the dashed portion is my result. Depending on which side I choose to keep will be the end result. Now, obviously, if I choose this side up here, the wall will become unjoined from this horizontal wall down here. So let's choose that there, and you can see I, I've lost the join there, which makes sense. It's exactly what I want in this case. So I come over here to curtain walls, because curtain walls are walls, they act the same as walls, we're going to get the same result. I, I'm able to, to easily trim those together. And you can start getting pretty weird when it comes to curtain walls, but, you know, it, it works all the same. I can choose one side versus the other, but like I said, curtain walls, they are kind of weird. They're, I'm going to delete those mullions to get my clean trim there. Moving over to detail lines these are even more simple than walls but they trim together just the same I can trim these together just like this it, it, it works all the same the, the same notion is I, I want to select this 
line, I want to keep it. And which side of this line do I want to keep? I Maybe mean, I want to keep that one. It works perfectly. Now, beams are interesting. Walls trim just fine. Lines trim. But beams do as well. This is very helpful to know. Not a lot of times will I need to do this, but there are times. There are definitely times when I need to do that. So ju just like the wall, it works just the same. And I, I won't go on and on, but you can see how this how the the beams begin to trim together very easily exactly how i want to it works perfectly now if i go back to the walls over here and i can see i have these two walls trimmed i'll actually i'll pull these these walls apart for now and i'll actually trim them back together now i've got them trimmed together now and i'm going to move the edge of this wall that drag the end of the wall and I'm gonna change this the angle of the wall I'm gonna drag it up here just just to make it a little different now you can see as the corner of the wall was kept and in most of the time I'm gonna I want this result I still want these walls to be joined together with a corner condition and in this case because I went to the trouble of trimming them together I was able to keep that join and, and keep that condition which like I said I probably want to keep now I can I can do the same thing with this wall I can change the wall or whatever it might be and just like before I don't have to use the trim tool at a basic 90 degree angle I can trim it at any weird angle that I want so that's really helpful in though too I can start moving all these beams to weird angles and trimming these two together it works just the same that's the result you get with beams by default but nonetheless it works and that's really helpful to know and if I am remembering correctly, I think rails work the same. Now, of course, when it comes to rails or anything that involves a sketch, I can, I can use the trim tool because it's available to me as a line or detail line or anything like that. So it works all the same. So I'm able to trim sketch lines together just like this. Yeah, and that works perfectly. And I can accept that and I've got my rail there. So that was a quick tutorial on how to use the trim tool and the different results you can get using the trim tool and really how versatile yet simple of a tool it is. If you learned something, if you would please hit that like button, it definitely helps me out. Also tells me that you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Revit tutorials. There's always more on the way. If you have any comments, please leave those down in the comment section below. I'll answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.